everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your TRX arms workout. So in this workout, we'll be using the TRX. Hopefully you have one at home. If you don't, we'll be giving you some moves that you can take with you to the gym. And we're gonna be focusing all on upper body. So arms, abs, back, shoulders, all of that. And we'll be getting your heart rate up as well. So sneak it in the cardio. Okay, so we're gonna start. Just gotta have your straps about mid-length, and we're gonna lean back into that row position. So we're here, you decide how far you wanna go down, everything's straight, and we're gonna pull those elbows up into a row. So remembering that with the T-Rex, we don't wanna have slack. So we, we don't wanna come up here, and we don't wanna use momentum where we're pulling ourselves up. So if it feels too easy, walk your feet forward. Too tough, walk them back. Here we go, bring them up and down. And elbows are coming just to the sides or a little bit past. Remember with the T-Rex, we're always looking up to the top of the straps, eyes on the horizon, we call that. Really pull in strong, squeeze in those shoulder blades. We're working all through the back and shoulders. Also getting through the arms, biceps and triceps. Squeeze, squeeze. Keep breathing, we'll get four more. Push yourself, remember if it's too easy, walk those feet forward, three two, and one. Good, let's switch gears to biceps. So we're bringing those straps up. So remember with the biceps, elbows are level with the shoulders and we're dropping back and pulling those palms towards the forehead. So your muscle memory is gonna wanna do the row because that's gonna be easier. So your muscles are gonna wanna do this, but really keep them high, pull those palms towards the forehead. Same thing, if it feels too easy, walk it lower, too tough, walk it back. Using the arms, this is a tough one, all your body weight, just using the biceps, really pull them in, making sure that that back is straight, that we're not rounding or letting our head drop or arching, keep them up, here we go. Four, three, two, and one, good, Whew. those are tough. How about we put them together? So, elbows in, we're gonna be switching our grip. So watch me, elbows in, turn the palms up, bicep curl. So it's a row and you have to really focus on what those muscles are doing, what muscles are working, because again, our muscle memory wants to do what's easier and probably stick with their row the whole time. Those back muscles are bigger and stronger, but we wanna isolate the biceps too, so we get nice, sleek, toned arms. Strong arms, that's what we want. Row, pull it in, curl. So remember your row comes a little bit lower, elbows by the sides, palms up, hands high, palms to forehead. A couple more, squeeze and bring it up. One more, up and up. Good work team, stretch it out. So again, this workout is isolating, so we're staying all in the upper body, so it's gonna be tough, but it's a really good way to challenge yourself if you're used to circuiting, going from upper body to lower body to abs. It's a really good way to get that push. So let's give our arms a little rest, and let's just tap behind for a little cardio break. So it's a break for our arms, but of course we don't wanna break for our body, so we'll keep that heart pumping. If you wanna add a little extra legs, you can get lower. Or just little taps, low impact, just tap it behind. We're just resting our arms just for a few seconds before we jump into another set of back and biceps. Here we go for four, tap, three, two, one more. Excellent, okay. So we're staying with these straps. This time we're gonna keep the palms down. We're gonna go back to the row, but a wide row. So, starting here, walk it forward, palms down, elbows come wide, back level with the shoulders, and down. So you'll feel the difference, little different part of your back. Lots of muscles all through our back and shoulders. So we gotta isolate them at different angles. Breathe, and down, and back. Heart rate should be up. Eyes up, watching that back. Again, pulling that belly button in. Our abs are working the whole time with everything with the TRX. 
We really want to be aware that we keep it pulled in. Last three, three, two, one more. Excellent work, guys. Okay, so we're gonna keep that wide grip. We're gonna keep it here, but we're gonna switch it to bicep. So watch me, here's our motion. Bicep curl, so we're taking this curl that we do this way, and we're bringing it up like this. So again, you have to be really careful that you don't use those back, those back muscles. We're gonna pull in for biceps. We want this motion at this angle. Watch me, start them here. Take them back, pull the hands right in front of the chest, elbows out. Here, pull the hands. Lots of things working, but again, you have to really focus to make it biceps. Elbows go out and palms come in. If, you're, if your palms aren't coming in and towards your chest, you're probably doing the row, so keep it here. Palms in, touching each other to the chest. Down and in. Again, remember if it's too easy, Walk those feet forward, get a little lower. Too tough, walk it back. Three, breathe, two, one more. There we go, good, that one is hard. How about we put them together, right? Whew, okay, so again, you gotta focus on each one so we know what muscles we're working. We're here, palms are down. Row, bring it back, turn them in. Bicep curl with the elbows out. Turn them down. Row, turn them in, hands to the chest, elbows out for biceps. Here we go. Row, strong back, bring them in, strong buys. Whew, up and in. Whew. Almost there, guys. Pull strong, this is our last push for our back and our biceps, so we gotta really push hard. Pull, and here. Two more, you can do this. Up, Woo. last one, strong backs, strong arms, and relax. Your arms should feel a little bit like jelly, that's how mine do. Really sit back into those hips, stretch. Woo. Good work team, that is tough. So we're gonna get one more little cardio interval from here, cardio break as I like to call it. Step it back. So just a little half lunge. You don't have to go super deep unless you want to. And you can start at low impact, or you can do a little jump. So again, we just wanna give our arms a little rest. If you even wanna take those straps down or drop them completely, just let those arms relax. Totally up to you. And again, you can keep it low impact or a little higher. We're just adding that little push for cardio and a little break for our arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's flip around on the other side of the straps so we can work our chest and our tries. So here we are, we're facing the opposite way in our straps. We're gonna have our hands out in front and we're gonna go into that chest press. So it looks like a push up. Hands are in the center. Feet are back, and we're gonna take it down in that chest press, so just here to here. So you're lowering, elbows come level with the shoulders, lots of abs, and push it back. And then just keeping those hands high so we don't want those straps to rub against our arms. Let's keep them up and bring it in. Same idea as the other arm work. If we need it to be a little tougher, I'm gonna walk my feet back so I'm a little bit lower in this push-up. If we need it to be a little easier, we'll keep it in front. And if you have balance issues and you really want a little extra stability, put one foot forward and just take it here to here. But let's keep it here. We're just pushing through. Lots of arms, lots of abs. All through the chest, but remember your abs are working too. So that's an important thing to remember with all this, <clears throat> all exercises from this motion when you're doing push-ups. Really focus on pulling up with your abs too, that's gonna help. Let's go two more like this. And last one. And we're gonna slow it down. So we're gonna keep working the chest. We're gonna go down three, two, one, hold. Then push up strong. Three, two, one, hold. And push up. Three, two, one, hold. Push it up. One more like this. Three, two, one, hold. 
and let's switch it, switch it. So we're gonna go down and hold, and then up slow. Three, two, one, good. Down and hold, and then up three, two, one. You can feel the difference on that, I'm sure. Down and hold, and then up three, two, one. Last one, down and hold, up three, two, one, good. So just step it forward, one foot forward, you'll get a little bit of a stretch. Through the muscles, good work guys. So let's keep it here, rest our arms for a second, step it back, step it back. So you're just, again, you can let those arms drop, getting a little cardio break while we shake out those arms, but keeping our heart pumping. Four more, four, three, two, and one, good, okay, so let's take those hands here down by the side. We're gonna roll up for our abs, so it's abs and arms. They're down by our side, knees are bent, and then roll it forward, and then bring it back. It's almost like a little Superman push-up. Roll it forward, and bring it back. If you want this to be harder, get lower. Roll it forward, and bring it back. Roll it forward, all abs, and back. So we're moving through the shoulders, but also getting a lot of abs, and back. Take it forward, and back. Two more. Forward, drop it low. One more. And low. Good. So let's take those arms up. So we're here into triceps. So similar to our chest press push-up motion, we want to make sure our whole body goes forward, not just our upper body. We want everything coming down, bending at the elbows, palms towards the forehead. Here to here. If that feels too tough, walk those feet forward and just make it smaller range of motion. Totally up to you. If you need more, step it back, make it harder. Here to here, if you need extra balance, one foot forward. You can still focus on pushing through the arms and not pushing off that leg, even if that leg is forward. Here we go, a couple more. Push and back. I know our arms are tired from all the back and bicep work we did and those chest presses, but you can do this. Four more. Four, notice you don't have to go super far. You're gonna feel it a lot in that elbow, so you can keep that range of motion small. Two, last one, and relax. Woo! So from here, guys, just a little jog. Rest those arms, bring those knees up, little cardio burst. You can even have them up high or drop them low. Totally up to you. Just a little cardio. Good. Four, three, two, and relax. Whew. Breathe. How about we put those together? Why not? So roll it out into the triceps. So my hands drop low, bend the knees, roll it out, triceps, and take it back down. Low, roll it out, tries, and down. Bring it up, lean it forward, triceps, and down. Make them two separate motions, guys. You don't have to go right into the tries. You can give yourself a second at the top to really get set, then tries. There we go. Take it up, tries, whew. Low, roll forward, push off. And breathe, almost there. Let's get four more. Four, push, take it low. Three, whew, two, last one. Forward, and push, whew. My arms are tired, stretch that forward. One foot forward, stretch it out. Breathe, guys. One more thing with the chest. So start with it center. We're gonna start with a little cardio interval, just like we did. Step it forward, arms out, take it back. So we're getting that fly motion. If you wanna make it more of a lunge, add a little legs, totally fine. And breathe. Forward. Get that stretch. Four more right here. Four. Two, 
and one. All right, last push chest, guys. Let's do that fly. So this one's tough. You can make it small range of motion. Arms out in front. We're gonna go down, out to the side, and pull them in. So my palms are facing each other. Again, your muscle memory might wanna do what's easier, which is a chest press, but let's try to keep those palms in. Little bend in the elbows, but for the most part, arms go out to the side. And again, focus on those abs. Abs are working hard. Pull it in, breathe. There we go. Take it here. Whew. And breathe. Two more like this. You got it. Fly, abs and arms and chest. Two. Good, how about let's take it down. Three, two, one, hold, push up. You can do this. Three, two, one, hold, push up. Two more, three, two, one, hold. Last one like this. Three, two, one, good, let's reverse it. We'll go down regular, up slow. Three, two, squeeze it in. Down regular, hold, three, two, squeeze, last two, down and hold, three, two, one, my arms are shaking, I hope yours are too, down, hold, three, two, one, and relax, good work guys, so step it forward, hands behind, and just sort of inch yourself forward with that front foot till you get that maximum stretch, make sure you have that front foot forward, so you're not going to Go too far, you have that stability, but then lean forward. Whew. Keep that open. Good work. A lot of upper body. Hands high, switch legs, and then push forward from that. There we go. And relax it down. There you go, guys, you did it. That was your TRX arm workout. Great job, everybody.